previously on Sons of Anarchy. Anyways, I'm Tim. I'm Anna. And this is the Geeked Up Game Review Group, and we're going to bring you an awesome game to show you. And it is called Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem. And if you are a big fan of the show as we are, then this is a game that you need to play. And now we're going to go to the box, show you the components, and why we think that you should be playing Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem. We'll actually bring you a review later on. This is strictly a preview. Fine, we'll just do an unboxing and show you the components, blah, blah, blah. But we can't unbox it because we already opened it. Yeah. So, it's we, a preview. But we haven't played this copy. We just got to open it and do the punch outs. But we might have played it a couple times at Gen Con. Yeah, we did. We sat and played half games. Well, I sat, you stood. They had the tall tables at the booth. But anyways, <laughs> we're gonna show you guys the components of this box that are awesome. Because it's Sons of Anarchy. And yes. because it's actually a pretty good game. But anyways, we'll it's get to It's a good that game. Later. The theme just helps it. So anyways, we're now off to the box. Now. Alright guys, I am really excited to show you guys the contents in this box. Not only because it's an awesome game, but its theme helps it just that much more. If you guys have ever watched the series of Sons of Anarchy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've not watched the series, it's not going to take anything away from you in the game. But, let's go ahead and open this. I'll show you guys the contents of Sons of Anarchy, Mid of Mayhem, by Gale Force 09 Three to four players, plays in about 90 minutes, ages 13 and up, although it could take more. A game of money, guns, and violent consequences. Now this was a promo for buying it at Gen Con, and it tells you how much to sell the... <clears throat> You can sell the contraband for. Yes. And here's the rule book. And hopefully when we guys show you the review, you will not need this. We will show you exactly how to play it, hopefully. And it's kind of cool, though, because it takes real pictures from the show. Yeah, there's there's actual real people and everything, uh, like Lynn and the Lynn Syndicate. Everybody like that. So we have your cards here, and how they work is you'll fold them like this, and they'll sit down like this, and you will hold hold all your stuff behind this uh, thing here. And it has little tips like round summary, order summary, and throw downs, how much you need. Um, and it's kind of cool because each one is color coded to their characters. We've got one niners. We have. Sam Pro. We have the Mayans. And the Lynn Syndicate. Lynn Syndicate. And they are, they released, um, they will be released in October. It was a Gen Con exclusive of the Grim Bastards. And what's the other one? They're going to be releasing the Calver, Calvary. Cartel. Cartel. Okay, so here's your player cards, and it's going to show you how much heat you have. This is your clubhouse. And for each, yes, clubhouse. And for every heat that you have, it's going to show your contraband. It's going to show how much money you start with, how many guns, how much contraband, how much heat, how many uh, members, and how many prospects. So you get two members on bikes and three prospects. And then you also get three base orders, which will be the little phone icons and there's also heat icons pieces to put on here to show you so this is the Sam Crow tile this is the one Niners the Mayans <coughs> Lynn Syndicate and the next one my favorite the Grim Bastards now this is the Gen Con exclusive this is the Gen Con exclusive board that you had to buy at a Gen Con to get this one but they will have an expansion in October the only thing I'm missing out of this is the bikes uh, and the little Shield guard. Yeah, your members, your prospects, here. and and the custom dice. Yes. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just use the red tokens because they're the closest to orange. But I am going to try to get it. And each club has their own October. dice, and their six has their symbols. Here's the Niners. Here's Sam Crow, the Mayans. So really kind of cool that they add those extra touches. Just yes, and when I was playing the game. I, at Gen Con, I was Lynn Syndicate, and I didn't really like playing as Lynn Syndicate, but it doesn't 
matter who you're playing as, it doesn't take anything away from the game. Here, that was just my personal reference. Preference. Here are miniatures, here's guns. And then there's a Sons of, Ar Sons, Sons of Anarchy, Charming California, which the patches, I don't know about this patch, but their cuts actually say California uh, instead of Charming on them, on the bottom and the back. Um, and here's the contraband. Yes. Well, what this indicates is whose turn it is to go first in the round. And they win all tiebreakers. Yes, and they win all tiebreakers. Uh, and then we have... These here, which is skim for cash. So if you come here and you have this location and and someone contests you and you win, or no one contests you, so you automatically win, you get to take four cash tokens from this. And then there's a whole bunch of other things like and those uh, are random every round. Yes, this so one that adds sell a gun for three cash. <laughs> sell a gun for three cash. It this. adds randomness to a game that has a lot of. Yes. Predictability. But they've taken photos from the show and actually put them on the cards. So everything you see on the cards is actually from the show. So when you go to play the game, you'll have to think, oh, well, they went and, you know, made all this, like, extra effort for the cards when they really didn't. And then here is, oh, there's a crematorium. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cry. This was a sad moment in the show. When was that? What about? Ope has Pineys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but here's different locations. There are three who are always the same. There's the police department. Yeah, these are permanent. I don't, I think. The police department. Was it the hairy dog? There's. I don't. I don't know about that. I know that this is permanent, and the, uh... I don't remember... The ambulance. Well, no, that's not one. Um... This one. Well, no, that's the, the emergency room. Oh, I think maybe it's that one. Is it that one? The OP? St. Thomas Hospital is always out, but that's not part of... Those you get sent to. Those you don't really typically choose to go to. Um, but really kind of cool that they incorporated that from the show, but the way it plays out, you've got a lot of choices, but you know that the choice you're making, someone else could make the same choice because that's what they want and they're willing to fight for it, or they see where you're going and they just want to fight you. And there's also a lot of, um, if you're playing the game, it doesn't matter whose turn it is really. It does, but it doesn't because... Two people could be talking across the table while these two over here are talking and uh, we were playing where uh, one guy paid another guy not to sell another guy guns so the only one that I could buy from or something I could buy from anyone but this guy couldn't sell to this guy so um, you know there's always stuff going on around there and uh, look at that big bag of cash <laughs> quality pieces Yes, everything in here is quality pieces, really thick, really thick uh, boards. And uh, I, you know, you would think that my favorite group is Sam Crow, uh, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, my, my favorite crew are the Grim Bastards. And uh, they're a little bit in the show. But anyways, those of you that have watched the show, I would I really, really, really advise getting this game. It plays just like the show shows. It's a it's a perfect replication of the show. Um, so, and the creator of the game is really cool. We got to talk to him for a little while. And uh, I, I really enjoy this game. So, it, and if those of you that don't watch the show, like I said, it's uh, it, it's still not gonna take anything away from the, in, away from the, away from the game. Although there are relationships that you'll make just because of the mindset from the game and stuff like that. Because that's just the way that we played it. So, anyways, I hope you guys liked this little uh, showing of Sam, of Sam Crow, Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem, a game of money, guns, and violent consequences from Gale Force 09. It plays three to four players, 90 minutes, ages three and up. It'll play five as soon as you get the expansion for the Grim Bastards. 
Um, but until then, it's a one, it's a three to four player game. So I hope you guys continue to watch our videos and our little sneak peeks of what's coming up in the future from Geeked Up Gaming. And I hope you guys can subs will subscribe to our channel um, and continue to follow us uh, on Twitter and Instagram and everything else. And uh, so I'm Tim. I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. One more thing right before I let you guys go for real this time. I wanted to show you guys the miniatures that come with the Sands of Anarchy, Sands, Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem, a game of money, guns, and violent consequences. So you're going to have your Mayans, your Niners, Sam Crow, and Lynn Syndicate. Now, I'm not a fan of Lynn Syndicate, so I'm going to say these guys are the Grim Bastards. All right, because these will be the that would be the color I would use for the Grim Bastards. But just to show you some detail, and this will probably be the best one, is these molds are really good. Like they've got some really good molds. Uh, whoever did these molds did a fantastic job. Let me get a let me zoom in here for you. So, you know, you get five of each color, and then your prospects you also get five of. So that's the miniatures to the Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem, a game of money, guns, and violent consequences. And I hope that you like the, uh, us going back and showing you uh, the miniatures for the game and the tiles that we would correspond to the game. All right, so I'm Tim. And this is the Geeked Up Gaming Review Group, and this is a short look at Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem, and we will be bringing you a full review and us playing the game in the near future.